This is what they do. This video is brought to you by the Spider Combat Arena. Support the Kickstarter today. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard by now, I'm sure you have, but you were all aware of the tragic case of Lake and Riley. Now, here's the issue I have with Lake and Riley is that she is being used as a political prop. That's all she's being used as. She's used as a political prop to, to funnel the, the right wing's uh, agenda, to funnel their narrative. Now, if you don't know, Lake and Riley unfortunately befell uh, you know, a tragic accident by someone who's not supposed to be here. In, in, in those amount of words, you get what happened, okay? Now, the right, of course, has lost her mind. They're going cuckoo for Coca Puffs, talking about Lake and Riley, say her name, say her name. If you, they know about George Floyd, say her name. Now, that's the issue I have. Because they want to talk about, oh, you want to know about George Floyd, what about Lake and Riley? Now, obvious differences is that what happened to George Floyd was caught on tape, well documented. What happened to Lake and Riley, there's no video evidence. That's what I'm getting at. Nevertheless, they're trying to, to, to say, use this as a case of anti-white racism, yada, yada, yada. So the issue I have when it comes to Lake and Riley is that they're not treating this the same way that they treated George Floyd. They're not doing that at all. And that's the issue I have in totality, is that when it comes to black victims, and when it comes to non-black victims, they don't treat them the same. So when you come to Lake and Riley, what do people know about Lake and Riley? The only thing most people know is that she was a nursing to him. That's it. That's the extent of what we know. We don't know her, if she's ever been arrested. We don't know anything about her social media, whatever. We don't know anything about her friends. Maybe her friend said that she was maybe racist or that, I don't know, she hated white people. We don't know anything. All we know is that Lake and Riley was a nursing student. That is it. Have they done any digging into her family? Have they done any digging into her? Have they done any digging to try and find uh, maligning material that would hurt or defame her character? That would, as far as take her out of the spotlight as, oh, she's this amazing nursing student. No, they haven't. That is the issue I have because they do that with every single black victim. And then when something like this happens, they want to say, hey, we're all in this together. We got to fight for this. this is horrible. And they pull some bull crap and they try to do emotional terrorism. And that's exactly what they're doing. Now, when it comes to the political aspect of this, this is what I implore as far as black Americans that we need to have. We need to have people in positions of power, people in positions in, in law enforcement, in, in politics, in business, in industries uh, that we can have influence or at least know what's going on. Because sure enough, what they have done, what they have created in Georgia is the Lake and Riley Act. Now, you know damn well these people don't give two iotas about Lake and Riley, but they see it as an opportunity to seize. Because the way they say, never let you know, a tragic moment go to waste, that's exactly what they're doing. And they're trying to push this bill forward. Here's the thing with the bill. What the bill allows is for officers to have free reign. What it allows for them to discriminate against anyone upon the presumption that they may be illegal. Now, you tell me who this is targeting. Hmm? You tell me if this bill is actually trying to prevent uh, of what happened at Lake and Riley happening again. You tell me, or is this not a means for these anti-black, um, saltine racists to simply to have law enforcement to discriminate further? Because you already know who they're gonna be looking at. Because law enforcement, as, as we can see from case and case and case and case, there's clearly a disparity in their interaction and how they treat a one group of people and how they treat other groups of people. So when it comes to a law enforcement officer, and here's the best part, they have immunity. So if you can say that they are a, you know, of good faith, that they were acting in good faith, listen to me, an officer acting in good faith, suspecting you being a legal immigrant. That's, that's what they're saying. If they were acting in good faith, well, you can't sue. There's no repercussions for them. This is, um, this is asinine. This is completely asinine. I want you to understand this is a form of tyranny. That's what this is. They are trying to use law enforcement um, to do their bidding. Just as when it came to Democrats, they try to use law enforcement to do their bidding when it came to the lockdowns. This is precisely what I'm talking about. This is when it comes, when I talk about police reform, when it, when it comes to qualified immunity, when it comes to, to the Terry stuff, when it comes to issues, laws that have been passed racially, 
anti-black laws that have been passed due to our racist Supreme Court system, in many cases, if you look at the Supreme Court and you look at the cases that have been passed, um, they have been done. They have been given so much power. They have been given so, so much power that they can now just oppress American citizens. And because they are law enforcement, well, they just enforce whatever whoever's in charge. That's what they are doing. So, no, I don't agree with this bill whatsoever. I think this is foolishness. I think this whole this whole uh, story about Lake and Riley and all this is nonsense. That's what I think. I think they don't care about Lake and Riley. They don't care about immigration. They don't care about legal immigration. They don't care about anybody. All they are are a lineage of evil. Because every single time a bill like this is passed, what these simpletons, what these dolts fail to comprehend is what happened if this was flipped. What happened if, let's say, Democrats passed a bill that, hey, we have to go after everyone who may be suspected of messing around with little kids. That's what we're going to go after. Now, who do you think that bill would be attacking? Hmm? It wouldn't be attacking black men. It wouldn't be attacking black people. It would be primarily targeting white men. That's who that bill would be attacking. What if we were to say, hey, we're going to have a bill <laughs> that, that's going to target people um, who, who may be, you know, may be doing money laundry, who may be doing embezzlement, who may be doing fraud, who may be, you know, uh, doing acts of that. Now, who do you think that bill would be targeting? Once again, it wouldn't be targeting black people. Who would it be targeting? It would be targeting as far as white uh, men. That's who that bill would be targeting. Let's go even a step further. Let's say we had a bill that say, hey, if we have anyone who's building underground tunnels, all right, and we don't know what's happening in those underground tunnels, but we have anybody who's building underground tunnels connecting, I don't know, let's say one synagogue or one religious institution to another religious institution, who do you think that bill would be targeting? Exactly. So you can miss me with this nonsense uh, of trying to have this, you know, plausible deniability of saying, well, we don't know who this would be targeting. We don't know. It could be targeting anyone. Because in all honesty, if you, you want to know who it would be targeting, never mind. I'm, I'm not even going to go there. But yes, you can miss me with this nonsense. All right. Because this is nothing more than a bill to, to, to allow law enforcement to further harass black Americans. That's all this is. This ain't going to benefit anyone except white uh, white liberals and, and white uh, conservatives. That's it. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, look, no, this is actually maybe a good build, maybe a good thing to help, you know, get these people out of here and that would, you know, benefit the black community. Or if you have to believe, listen, there have been tons of bills. The, the, the crime bill, right, for example. Tons of bills that, you know, may ostensibly be put forth to help the community to help the country, but that's not how it's that's not how it's enforced. That's never how these bills are enforced. And they usually turn around and bite us. That's usually what happens. They turn around and we become uh, the targets to, to these saltines in, in badges and uniforms. That's what happens. Nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call during disagreement day, which is typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen you call in, we duke it out. Either or Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is it a good law? Is it a bad law? Um, share and subscribe. And oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Who do you think that bill would be targeting?